Do you have these old gadgets that come with micro USB ports? They used various types of micro USB ports. These are most common micro USB ports. They are in a forward layout with the short side lying on the PCB. While some rare are in a reverse layout with long side lying on the PCB, such as Xbox One and PS4 controllers. With hours USB-C to micro USB replacement port, you can upgrade these old ports. Both reverse and forward micro USB are compatible with. It's a must to determine before desoldering the port. See what's in the box. Two USB-C to micro USB replacement ports. On the tiny PCB, it printed V as VC and G as GND, that the port can be flipped to fit forward or reverse micro USB. Two heating plates to help desolder the old micro port off. One is for Xbox controller, another is for normal micro ports. Grinding bit for enlarging and trimming the hole. Nickel strip for securing the port. Multi strand wire works better than typical desoldering wick. The DIY involves some difficult steps, serious soldering skills, tools, and materials required. It's for super deers alone. We do not suggest for new beginners. I'm demonstrating on an Xbox One controller. Tear it down. The micro port is going to be upgraded with a USB C port. Support the PCB on the desk. The heating plate heats at the back of the port. Apply flux on both the back and front joints to well conduct the heat. One reminder, Xbox PCB is paper-based and therefore cannot withstand high temperatures. Do not set the temperature to high. Use a big iron tip. Add some solder to heat it up. Finally, the port was removed. Add some flux and remove the solder with the wire. Clean the PCB with pure alcohol or PCB liquid. The Xbox used a reverse micro USB, so the V mark should be on the left. Position the USB C port on the PCB. Solder the first GND joint with a small iron tip. Closely check how the port was positioned. Sorry, the socket is a bit tilted. Desolder it and solder it again. Now the port is aligned with the PCB. Until then, we solder the second GND. Pay attention to the tiny resistors on the board. Do not knock it off. Cut a small strip of the nickel plate. Solder it together with the PCB and the outer case of the port. Wrap the port tight and solder the other end. We're connecting the five pins. Secure the two GND soldering joints. Closely check the connections. Make sure there's no short connection. Use a smartphone camera to enlarge the view. The original hole of micro USB on top cover is too small. Widen it to 9mm with the grinding bit. Manually use the tool. Little by little, it take about 20 minutes with a lot of patience. It fits perfect. Assemble all the boards and parts. 
Finally, an Xbox with USB-C port is born. I'm demonstrating the operation on this keyboard. It comes with a micro USB port. Tear down the keyboard. It looks like is in a normal forward port with the short side lying on the PCB. However, we need to confirm it with a voltmeter. Connect it to PC with a USB cable. We measured the VC5 volt is at the right. So it surely is a forward micro USB. The ID pin was connected to GND on PCB. Stack the USB C adapter onto the micro port with the V printing at the right. USB C port is slightly longer than micro sub. Study the PCB and structure to settle down the position. The next step is to desolder the micro USB port off. The heating plate cannot work. For I do not want to tear down further. I want to demonstrate you an easy solution. By the way, this delicate solder reel dispenser was also designed by Tony, the designer. Set the soldering iron to a proper temp. Apply flux on the socket. Add a lot of solder on all the prongs and pins. It was removed easily. We suggest removing the solder with multi-gauge wire instead of typical solder wick. It performs better. Solder wick also works. Clean the PCB with PCB liquid. Place the port on PCB with the printing V at the right. Solder the first GND pad. Pay attention to the small resistors on part. Closely, check if the port is aligned with the five pads on PCB. Until then, solder the second GND pad. Now solder five pins. Apply some flux. Let the iron tip touch the golden edges. In cases like this, the pins are short connected. You can remove the extra solder with the wire or the solder wick. Closely check the connections. Use a smartphone camera to enlarge the view. Now, we secure the port. In this case, you can directly solder the port onto the PCB with solder, for the pad is large enough. However, we demonstrate you with the nickel plate. Cut the plate and solder one side. Tightly wrap the outer case. Cut the extra and solder the other end. Resolder the two GND prongs to make it strong. The original hole of micro on back cover is too small. Widen it to 9mm with the grinding bit. Please manually use the tool, little by little. It take about 20 minutes with a lot of patience. Try with a USB plug. Reassemble all the parts. Finally, keyboard modified with the USB-C port was ready.